Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment below and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to do a quick video this week. Next week, I'm going to get, uh, hopefully I'll have a new theme song too, a new intro uh, next week or the week after. Uh, but um, next week, I'm going to do a thing where uh, I give you an update for the uh, first quarter of the year or whatever. Uh, all the new stuff that's been coming into the fun house because the last few videos or last video or so, uh, I've been doing a big purge and I finally got rid of everything have everything listed up on ebay or brought back to a record store to get things and stuff and uh uh i will show you with uh what is coming into the fun house instead of what is going out but for the last video of what is going out speaking about putting stuff on ebay i have about 14 albums sold i got a few more i'm going to list up uh like i said if i can make more than like 10 or so i'll, I'll put it on ebay if now i'll just bring the, the records back to record store but speaking about ebay i pulled the uh, 10 examples of um, what things are selling for. I will show you the price on the Discogs app. We all put, of course, our collections up on the Discogs. Uh, my collection is sitting at the value. Uh, the median value says about $65,000. The high-end value is about $150,000. So if someone wants to give me $150,000, this is all yours, no problem at all. I will sell that tomorrow. Sometimes it's a hassle being a record collector. But anyway, so I'll give you the value on that and the uh, recent eBay sales, like the last three, average them to a price, and then I'll tell you at the end what I actually got for it. So that's the most realistic thing is what I got. Of course, eBay, you wanna look for sold items. People will list an album for like 400 that's only worth 80 or because either they really want it, but if someone's crazy enough to pay that high price, they're willing to sell it, or people are just crazy on eBay and everyone thinks that the vinyl resurgence is what, in its 12th, 13th, 14th year? I mean, for people like me, I've always bought vinyl, so there's not really a resurgence in it, it's just a lot more to choose from. Um, with things getting repressed and then new groups putting things on vinyl, but uh, yeah, this whole like uh, I guess resurgence is lasted longer than I thought. I thought it would kind of be over. Uh, young people wouldn't be into playing an album, but what do I know? Anyway, uh, example number one: Sea Hags, a 1980. I'll show the picture somewhere. Sea Hags, 1989, San Francisco band, kind of glam metal, hard rock. Uh, on the Discogs, they said an average for the one I had be about 26 bucks. On eBay, uh, taking the last three sales, sells about 42 bucks, about the average it's selling for. What did I sell mine for? My auction went for 36 bucks on, I'd say, a VG, VG Plus copy of the Sea Hags. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, Annihilator, a Canadian thrash band. I believe their singer was also, I don't know if he was in GBH or some punk band for a while. A singer on this album. Uh, the main person is uh, Jeff Waters, a guitar player. I really loved this when this came out, but vocally I never really loved it too much. So uh, it had a repress. Sometimes when a repress comes out, it kills the original uh, like worth or value, but it didn't seem to affect this original uh, pressing I had of um, Annihilator, Alice in Hell. Yeah, it was just a, a, a heavy metal record that I just didn't really listen to a lot, so I figured, let somebody else have it. It came out in 89. Uh, really great copy of this original press. On the Discogs app, it says I should got about 43 bucks for average. Uh, the last few sales on eBay have been about 42 bucks, so they're pretty close, those two. And I got 35 well, It would have been cooler to get a few more, but I was happy to sell it at 35 and now all my shipping I only charge five for. I've seen people now charging 10. Uh, Solo Asylum there, 1988 release, Hang Time. On the Discogs, says about 17 bucks. Last few sales of eBay for this album, about 17 bucks. I got 20. Big Soul Asylum fan out there, overpaid. They wanted it really bad. Uh, Greg from Bad Religion, awesome punk band. Um, American I, I was going to say Liaison, Liaison, but it's not. American Legion. Um, it's like a solo album. came out in 97. This was a repressing on red vinyl. On the Discogs app. It says I should have got out about 18 bucks for it. eBay did not really have any copies sold, so I have no idea what the average, but I'll say it's probably around 18, probably the same. Uh, and I got 15 for it. I played it once, just wasn't into it. Love his work with his punk band, his solo stuff. I was just like, eh, all right. Might as well just sell it. Keel, 
heavy metal slash hair band. Um, this was their fourth album. I think their second and their third were starting to break them, and then the fourth is kind of to go uh, down a little bit. Uh, Self-titled fourth album from them came out in '87. I own the Discogs app. Said I should have got like 15 bucks. Would have been average for that. eBay, the last few sold. eBay usually goes higher sometimes because people are willing. To, you know, they go crazy in the auction. They try to uh, win it. Um, last few sales averaged it out to be 19 bucks. Uh, I got 12.50 for it. I was pretty happy. It was a, it was like a good, very good uh, album. Like, um, it has some wear to it, sleeve wear and stuff, so I was, I was happy with that. Snow Patrol, a Scottish band. We all know them from that, um, Chasing, was that Chasing Cars, that slow song? That bingo, 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 bingo. You come up with something that just sticks in your mind, like the bingo, 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 bingo. Yeah, that, it's a hit. It's a hit. Their uh, seventh album, Wildness. Could be their final one, because I know they had some people out, but I think the main guitar or singer dude is still in there. So he's probably going to continue on as Snow Patrol, and they may have something out this year, 2024, who knows. Uh, anyway, on the Discogs app, she says I got about 15 bucks for a used copy of that album. eBay, the last few sales, averaged them out about 14. I got 11.15, 11.50, 11 something over 11 bucks. Uh, Tom Petty, and I swear I'm going to do a video of artists or bands that really I was into then they slowly let me down and whenever unfortunately I talk about Tom Petty I talk about how I loved his career until uh, uh, you don't come around here no more and then what was that like mid 80s and then just after that I was like I just uh, I couldn't get into him I don't know why he just got too like folk rocky or something for me I like early Tom Petty something with the bite but everyone said Wildflower or Wildflowers, whatever album. You gotta listen to that, dude. That one's great. Oh my god, I'll change your life. And I listened to it. It didn't change my life. I had the Finding Wildflowers uh, reworking alternate versions. Came out in 2021. Uh, Wildflower came out in uh, 94. Anyway, I own the Discogs app. Says I should have got about 18 bucks for it. eBay, the last few sold. Averaged it out about 25 bucks. Uh, I got 22 bucks for it, so I was, I was happy with that. I mean, I wasn't going to listen to it anymore, so... And uh, speaking about listening to things, there were uh, Angel City. It's a band, The Angels, from Australia, but when they re-released this in the U.S., they called Angel City. Uh, face to Face, their album, um, I think oh, it came out in 80, perhaps. Uh, it was one that I pulled to Purge, and then I re-listened to it, and it's back in the collection, so that's why I'm featuring it now. I changed my mind. Sorry, Angels. I like you guys. Enough to keep into the Funhouse collection. Uh, Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh yeah. From uh, Downers Grove, Illinois. A few towns over. About 15 minutes that way. Oh yeah. The Macho Man. Uh, Be a Man was a album. I don't know what I expected. It was crazy when it got re-released for a uh, record store day. People were crazy about it. It went up, I swear it went up past 100 bucks or something like that. And then, I didn't know what it was, like, but I liked Randy. Oh yeah! <laughs> so I uh, wanted one, and I waited out in the store, kind of restocked, because they re-reissued it and re-re-reissued it. And it's a rap album, and I don't like him uh, rapping at all. No, didn't need Randy Macho Man rapping. Didn't need that. But anyway, the purple vinyls, what I had reissued, I own a Discogs app, 40 bucks. This is what I should have got for that. eBay, the last few sold about 35. I got 26. Yeah, I was really hoping to get a few more bucks for it. 26 bucks. You know, I need all the money I can get. That's where that's where I'm at in life. I look at my what is that? Uh, 401k. Like here's your age. Here's you. Here's how much you need to retire. And I, I am not not even close. So I will work till I die. That's a happy thought. King Diamond, Fatal Portrait, reissue. So this is a 2020 reissue of The King. King Diamond, that high-pitched uh, singer. Uh, it was a yellow one. On the Discogs app, says it should have got about 24 bucks for it. Uh, eBay, the last few sales, says should have got about 21 bucks for it. I got $15.50. Fifteen dollars and fifty cents. Now this is interesting because I did a video kind of sort of like this a year or two ago, and I was uh, selling things on eBay for more 
than uh, the averages and stuff. So that means that everything was starting to go, oh, people were really interested in things. And now, have we hit the peak of the resurgence? Are, are we seeing prices now starting to drop because it's been oversaturated and over crazy? I don't know. Gordon here, I mean, I got lower than what was expected on everything uh, besides Soul Asylum. So, And besides this last one, which was the real Sid and Nancy. It was a concert they, uh, I don't know if it was taken from one of Sid's shows in New York right before he passed, or a few of Sid's shows, but it was kind of sloppy. Oh, there are kicks on my furnace. Came out in 86, this album. Sid was long gone by then. Uh, Owned the Discogs. It says it should have got 16 bucks. eBay, last few sales, 16 or 14. I got 17 bucks. Whoa, retirement, here I come. So, you know, I thought it would be interesting just to show you what things are selling for. Uh, and, and, and let me know in the comments if you think the vinyl resurgence is, is still going strong or are we starting to see like a lot of sales starting to drop prices on things and all that. Alright, sorry about me not turning the furnace off so uh, you know, it is what it is. But hey, I'll see you all uh, probably in two weeks. I'm going to take a break and I'm going shopping uh, down there in Tampa. I'm going to hit some record stores down there in Florida. And uh, yeah, I'll come back. The next video will be my new purchases uh, so far of the year for 2024. Thanks for watching.